Okay, so next we're going to work the Tabata style ring stability exercises. Um, these are very, very important for when we're going to go on the high rings. The whole point of these is to create strength in the positions that happen dynamically um, and that we also get caught in. So this is going to help us when someone is going for their first ring muscle up. A lot of times you'll see they catch in this low, tiny, this super low dip and can't get out of it or they catch really high and then they fall through. Um, and you, we don't want that. So if we're working these positions in an isometric way and also um, in a dynamic way, when we have the floor here as support, then we're gonna be stronger when we get to the, and more confident when we get to the high rings. So the first is gonna be a isometric hold um, in lockout. So that's all the way up, arms straight, um, and no, no swinging. So if people can't hold this, you can use a toe spot, lower your rings down, use a toe spot. I'll show that um, after I finish showing the full movement. So the first is the isometric hold in lockout. For this to be a virtuous position, when you're at the top, the rings should turn out, okay? Some people are not gonna be able to do that. They'll probably just be holding like this, which is okay, as long as we don't have shaking in the rings. To um, help spot this, you can just go behind the person and hold the rings and just tell them pressure through the hands, okay? So this is the first hold, isometric hold in support. Nice hollow position. I'm squeezing my quads. I'm turning the rings out, okay? Isometric holding support. Next is gonna be 90 degrees or halfway down. This is ideally where we're gonna catch when we hit a ring muscle up, okay? We wanna catch above 90, right? We don't wanna be in the dip. So we're gonna work on holding that. So you're gonna jump up into support and then lower to 90 degrees. And we're gonna just hold it here, okay? And then the last one is gonna be in our lowest, lowest dip. So we'll jump up to support and lower all the way down into the dip. Jump up, lower down into the dip, and we'll hold it there. If you have athletes that are really, really strong and they're holding it in each of these positions, you can add a tiny little bit of a swing. My suggestion though is not to introduce this to the entire class, but to introduce it to the individual athletes to which it applies. Because you don't want people who aren't ready to try this, trying it, because they will get injured. So, you're gonna jump up into support, and then Pee Wee Herman the rings, back and forth. Toes come forward, hands go back. You're gonna do the same thing at 90 degrees. Rocking, and then the same thing at the bottom of the dip. Rock, okay? It's, that is really super hard. But if you can hold that, when you get over the rings, it's gonna be tight, easy, okay? So those are the isometric holds. You're gonna do a Tabata of those this week. People are gonna hate it, but it's gonna make everybody super strong.